Welcome back to our video course on Word 2010. In this section of the course, we've begun talking about tables and how they can be used in documents. And you can see here we started creating a, just a simple table with some information inside of it. In this video, I want to go ahead and look at the table tools that are inside of Word 2010. Now, you may not have noticed the table tools before inside of Word because the only time they appear is when you've actually selected a table. You'll see here I've clicked below and those table tools have disappeared. It's only when I click inside of this table that that section will become visible. And you're going to see there's two tabs here, a design tab and a layout tab. Roughly speaking, the design tab allows you to affect the appearance of a table. For example, we've got a number of table styles here, and we also have some choices for the way those styles are going to be laid out over here. For example, right now I have header row, first column, and banded rows selected. I'm going to uncheck banded rows, and you're going to see that the first row and the first column of my table are formatted differently than all the other rows. Well, I probably don't want the first row to be formatted like but differently like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and highlight just those there. Banded rows basically mean that every other row is going to be highlighted in a different color. Banded columns mean that the columns highlight differently. So again, this all depends on you know the way you want your table to appear. I'm going to uncheck banded columns and I'm going to recheck banded rows because that's roughly what I want there. Now to apply one of these styles, you'll see when I hover over the style, it shows it to me. But when I leave this table styles up here, it no longer is applied. So I need to actually click on a table style to select it and apply it. Now you're also going to notice that last name in January got formatted a little bit differently than the other headers here. So I'm going to come back to the Home tab, and you remember I had that Format Painter tool. I'm going to go ahead and select First Name, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on Format Painter. And now I'm going to highlight everything else, and when I release, you're going to see the formatting is now the same. I want to do the same thing with Last Name here. So I'm going to highlight Martin, click the Format Painter, and then highlight everything else down here. And you're going to see that that formatting gets applied. So the Format Painter will not only work with text, regular text in a Word document, it also works to apply formatting inside of um, your table. Well, I'm going to come back to the Design tab. So again, the table styles here, definitely something to um, try out and explore. You also have your table styles here. We just looked at a few of the styles, but you can see I can click these scroll bars and scroll up and down through them, or click the drop down arrow at the bottom and I can see all the styles at once. And you'll see it even goes past the bottom of my screen right now. And then you also have borders and shading up here. So you can actually customize the borders and shading after you've gone ahead and selected a style to begin with. So let's see how maybe that would work. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this first row here. And you're going to see that I've got the borders option here. And I'm going to come in, I'm not going to use any of the presets. I'm going to come into borders and shading though. And you're going to see by default I've got a thin blue border on the top and bottom. And I want to take that off because I'm going to redo those. The top border, I'm going to want to look more like, let's say, this style right here. I'm still going to select that blue for it, though, and keep that width. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the bottom. Then what I'm going to go ahead and do, if I click on the top, it'll get applied there also. But I can come you know, in here and I could select a different style for the top. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select a solid line for the top, just a solid single line that's thin. Then I'm going to click there, and it'll replace that. And then maybe I'll make it a little bit thicker, like 
There we go. That way it stands out a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll now see that's been applied. So I can apply borders. I can also apply shading from right here. You know, so if I wanted to put a very that light blue fill on this or a different color fill for some reason, I could just click on that fill and it modifies that table. Now, the formatting commands that you're used to using on the home tab, as far as font and paragraph, most of those will work also with a table. For example, I can highlight my table here, and right now it's in Times New Roman, but I can click my drop down and select a different font. I'm going to go ahead and select Cabrilli, and yeah, maybe I'll select the other option there. There we go, I like that. And I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller so everything fits into the same space. So you can see how I've done that. I can make things bold, italic, underline. I can go into the format font dialog box here, and I can access any of these controls here. Notice, however, I have an advanced tab, and I can change the scaling, spacing, and position. If you're not familiar with some of these options, um, you'll want to go ahead and look back at our character formatting videos. And the same thing is true for your paragraph formatting commands. Now, I'm going to make a couple changes here as far as the paragraph formatting goes. I'm going to highlight this block of cells here, and I'm going to click on line right, because I want them to the right-hand edge of the cell instead of to the left. I'm also going to highlight my line. Actually, I'm not going to highlight my first line, but I'm going to highlight every other line. And I'm going to come here to my line spacing, and you're going to see I can space out my table and make it a little bit uh, more decorative. So I'll click on 2.0, and now you'll see the table has been spaced out. So before we actually did that by dragging the row, but you can also apply line spacing or spacing above or below a paragraph and get that same effect. We'll go ahead and talk about some of the layout properties in the next video, and we're also going to look at the properties for the cell as well.